Hello, everyone. Welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday, the 16th of November, 2020. I am Akin Brain. I will be your host. We're going to play the game of high priority initiatives, other initiatives, Q&A, parking lot, questions, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be great. So without further ado, uh, let's talk about our high priority initiatives. So the first thing to talk about is upcoming and ship releases. Um, <clears throat> I shipped some JS IPFS stuff. So we shipped a new HTTP client with a long awaited uh, patch from Heracli uh, to report progress um, uploads, which is great. It's going to uh, make the web UI well good. Um, so that is out now. Hooray. Um, also, some bugs with uh, the message port client around dependencies. Um, and hopefully, that shouldn't happen again in the future because we've shored up uh, our CI around that. That's from JSI. I see there's a go lib P2P. Yeah. Adin? Do yes. it. Yes. Uh, the streams, they've been refactored. Uh, yeah. Um, people have been running into foot guns every so often around the fact that when you close a stream, it was only closing it for writing, but not for reading. Uh, Close now closed for writing and reading, which is a breaking change. Um, we've also removed the helper functions that sort of did a background task that waited for the stream to have an EOF sent to you because we don't need that anymore because close will close the read and write. Um, there is also um, improvements to connection gating. Um, we had sort of the interfaces, but now we have an implementation that will allow people who work on libp 2 p to better control who can access their nodes. Not in use in IPFS just yet, but you know, perhaps, perhaps coming soon. Awesome. Uh, next up is the pinning services. Yes. So uh, pinning services. The uh, last week we were finishing up some migration work, and throughout the weekend there's been uh, some migration pains that. Uh, need to be resolved. I think we're very close, but I'm going to see if Adin can work with me to resolve those last couple issues. And it has to do, uh, or at this point, uh, with using a new versus old version of Go IPFS uh, that's linked into um, some migration code. And we might need to change how we're, we're doing a couple of things to get that, that working properly. Um, so I have a write-up on that. We'll, we'll be going over and we may need to um, uh, make a few changes to how we do migrations, but we should be able to get that done today. Um, other than that, the pinning services, nothing, uh, there's nothing new, nothing uh, that since last week, since we talked, uh, but no, there's been some activity asking for these things on um, some of the, uh, the issues. And um, they're looking at waiting for this in the next release. I haven't responded to any of the issues, comments, but um, Hopefully we can get this in. That's all we have left is, is to make sure the migrations are good. Yes, and related to that, a once the release is out, uh, the the next high priority item will likely be making FS repo migrations like function. Uh, it, we've basically been skating by since we switched away from GX to Go mod. We haven't had to do anything that seriously required any dependencies because um, it's just been editing a config file. Uh, and now we finally did a thing that required actually having some understanding of the code and bringing in dependencies, and everything kind of blew up. So this is, uh, we'll call it paying off technical debt from the GX Go mod switch. In retrospect, it may have actually been easier to do the work moving forward this, uh, this weekend as opposed to trying to get it to work the old way. But um, I need a second set of eyes so we can evaluate where we are right now. Yeah, so we'll have an answer by the end of the day. Uh, either it's going to say it's a thumbs up, or we know exactly what we need to do to fix it. Yep. And then for the the rest of the pinning services stuff, uh, Lytle has has done a bunch of work with with Pitar to kind of move this closer to the to the finish line and actually get the the CLI and HTTP API that we are going to be stuck with for a while. Uh, ironed out. Um, 
looking pretty good. Any any comments, Lytle, Qatar? I think like the main question, remaining question is, uh, should we block by default or not? Uh, over the weekend, I, I, I leaned toward blocking by default. Like Andrew convinced me. <laughs> Uh, why that's probably a better default um, so probably uh, we'll experiment with that uh, this week uh, we if we do that we will need to add a flag which uh, for, for reporting progress similar to the old pin add command when you pin you can pass progress which prints you how many like nodes you've been locally that makes sense locally but if you pin remotely we don't have that deep insight so we at least will provide user some information about request id and when the last time status was updated or something and i think that should be enough for mvp we can always improve that in the future yeah, just for for added context for those not following super closely uh when you currently you know when you do ipfs pin add a thing it blocks until you've downloaded the whole dag um that's not gonna. That's not how sort of the remote pinning is gonna work. You're not sort of waiting on this HTTP connection until the thing is finished being downloaded by the service. You just tell them, please get it for me, and then they go get it. Um, so the question is, you might want to pull until they're done so that you know when it's done. But should that be the default behavior or not? And then how we map that into the fact that we're gonna be pulling the same API to be sort of the new local pinning API. And we'd like those things to look the same because it would be weird if you were, uh, if, if IPS pin, you know, pin uh, remote ad was not blocking, but IPS pin local ad was blocking. That would be pretty confusing for people. And I guess I'll just do the next one, which is SecIO removal. Uh, yeah, I, I, pinged, I pinged Michael, I think today's the day for uh, turning off SecIO for a little bit and seeing if everyone freaks out or if nothing changes. Hopefully the latter. Incredible. Death to SecIO. Uh, next up is JS improves discoverability and connectivity. Yes, so uh, the custom announced multi other function that I had uh, previously done is now merged after the review. Uh, I also got uh, reviews for the auto relay example and the dial multi other custom sort function uh, last week that I already also addressed, and I think they should be ready to go now, as uh, Jacob only pointed out now some minor things left. Uh, then I, I worked on the discover and connect to, to the closest peers feature. Uh, I think it's also uh, done and uh, it will need the, the review. Uh, and yeah, so far this week, uh, my main focus will be on the rendezvous work. I will uh, start by addressing uh, Jacob's review on the implementation of the protocol. And then I will do some benchmarking and also if I have the time start working on the example. That's it. Nice. Uh, next up is bidirectional streaming and streaming errors in the browser. Um, so I added uh, tests that prove that the uh, streaming is bidirectional and the errors work, which is um, which is great. It's a massive improvement. Um, I'm going to try and like. So the only thing that's the only thing that's using this at the moment is add. Um, and I would like to get a like an experimental release out by the end of next week, so people can start playing with it, um, and we can gather some feedback and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to just tidy up around the documentation and like making sure we're using the right library and and that kind of thing because um, <clears throat> it's a bit weird at the moment uh, using different gRPC uh, libraries on the server and the client, um, which is great interop array, um, but. It's just, yeah, like different paradigms at either end. Um, so that needs to be looked at. But yeah, good, good. Uh, that is the end of the high priority initiatives. Uh, next up is the other initiatives. So improving web UI file add. 
Uh, Miracle was having some problems with his internet connection. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Alex, for shipping the progress thing. Uh, it's finally landed. Hooray. So now we can integrate into the web UI. It should be quick. I'm hoping by next week we should have it in. Sweet. Um, you're up again next for TypeScript integration for Joe Sopiever. Uh, those updates were not from me, so oh. maybe somebody else did it. Hugo, a new, a new TypeScript challenger has entered the ring. Yeah, so I started uh, working on uh, the TypeScript, the type definitions for the little bit core code base. And uh, basically, I'm now pending on Hugo's update so that I can update Azure and uh, start getting types in a little bit. Okay, so yeah, uh, a pull request is up on the AG repo, basically to add support for um, type checking, not so much as the full TypeScript environment. We have another uh, like global flag just to enable uh, TypeScript support in other places. This is more for, uh, or more specific for type checking, generating documentation, documentation from the, the, the type declarations that are, that are generated uh, and all those use cases around it. So yeah, uh, please review and give some feedback. Um, I'm testing it on the JS IPFS repo. Um, everything seems to work. We already had like the TypeScript config there. So checking uh, was already working. This is basically just getting everything into AG so we can use it everywhere. Um, the documentation part on the JS IPFS repo is going to be a little bit harder, but we'll get there. Amazing. Very exciting. Uh, next up is use of shared node from service worker. Uh, I guess that's me again. Um, yeah, so we have a pull request that I don't think has landed yet, but it adds an example and that's pretty much extent of it. Oh, um, I will get to that. Uh, I think it was, it was like pretty much all there. Um, so that will land imminently. Uh, next up is budget two support. Uh, nothing to report. It's uh, just waiting to see if they are going to do a release. Um, so just waiting on Badger. That's all. <laughs> Don't call us. We'll call you when there's uh, <laughs> when they have a decision. I guess. Oh dear. Okay. Next up, not traversal. Yeah, so this week and part of last week, Arsh is working on the recently stun hardening. Um, so there's some incongruities that we've noticed between Autonat and kind of observed addresses being shared. So right now he's working on improving that so that we're advertising the correct public addresses because we will need that to leverage Autonat um, for, for stun coordination. Cool. Next up is uh, Unix FS v 1.5 and Go IPFS. Um, I don't think there's been any movement on this since last week, unless someone else has noticed something. No, I think the contributor is still, still doing some stuff. Uh, I, I need to give some reviews. Cool. Uh, next is Go IPFS GC improvements. All right, after uh, testing at scale last week, I needed to make some uh, change to the design. Uh, those were supposed to be out on Friday, but uh, those got uh, pushed back due to the work I'm doing with the uh, migrations for the pinning. So as soon as I can get to the migrations, I will be able to uh, finish off the, the change to the design and get that design work uh, pushed out to people to review. Stuff. 
Uh, that was the end of the other initiatives. Um, so moving on to the uh, other business uh, design review proposals. Anybody got anything to propose for review? Okay, blockers and asks. Anyone blocked? Anyone got an ask? Anyone got any questions? Oh. Uh, I guess I'm just I'm just like looking over some stuff that Andrew sent me over the weekend. This this repo migration stuff could be could be pretty gross. Um, I suspect we're gonna we can make some some solid progress, but I there may be some hairy things that pop up here due to us. I think a number of changes in the migration process that we haven't done before. Uh, we support both like level DB and Badger by by default now, right? There's all sorts of plugins for the data store. We're using GoMod. Like there's there's lots of new things I think that are coming up in this migration that we just haven't had to deal with before. But uh, now is the time. So I guess just putting that so, out there as a heads up, this may take longer than than expected. You read the horrible thing I did. I tried. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The JS repo migration tool is similarly hairy. Uh, not wanting to do things like create a whole copy of a repo because it could be enormous. And what do you do if you fail halfway through? Like moving backwards and forwards between the things and just keep running it until you, you've got nothing else to migrate. You're like, oh, I'm done. What fun. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, got, I got a question. Uh, so regarding the um, pinning services or the um, HTTP client support for pinning services, uh, who's going to take that? I think Gonzalo started working on it, but then uh, me, Jacob, and Alex talked about me taking on that. So uh. what should be... Yes, so I, I don't know. I, I started looking at it on Friday. Uh, if you want to take it, I'm happy to let you, but I can also work on it. Uh, I think there's also a few things that could be parallelized if you want to go that way, um, given that it will, like, so uh, maybe I'll just lead to the next items that I to the parking lot because they're pretty much the same. Um, so we will have to figure out the way how we can land all the pieces uh, and given that we seem to want to land it in one lump. Uh, so problem is that uh, to test it, we need some sort of, uh, we need a Go IPFS to test against. And then we also need a, some pinning service to run it again, uh, to like pair it with and test it with. Uh, there's a Ruby implementation, but it seems like will be very complicated to try to get it running all on CI. So I think a better approach would be to write a simple like a echo server that we already have or something along those lines uh, to do it. Um, yeah, and then trying to land Go IPFS and also land the client and also run, land the tests and all do it together seems like I, I don't really know how we can pull it off, including web UI. I omitted I this piece. So I think maybe we should have a conversation how we can do gradually and maybe, I don't know, the things me and Lytle talked about, maybe we can have a flag in HTTP clients that you can opt into and we can land certain patches that are not tested yet. So we can ship the Go IPFS with the web UI that uses it. And then once it's in, then we can add the tests to test against that. Uh, I know maybe there are some other options that we can, maybe we can have a like next release of uh, HTTP client and then only ship it once the Go ships. But yeah, I don't know, let's figure out how to do it. And in terms of parallelization, uh, we can split it up into like, as I mentioned, we need to do the server, we need to do the other pieces, maybe we can do it together so we don't have to wait on each other or like not one person has to do it serially. Yeah. Cool. So we can one question. Uh, Lytle, can't we generate a mock server from the spec? I mean, we can generate uh, most of the mock server. <laughs> you still need to wire it up to actually 
prepare uh, the response. It will take care of uh, the wire format. You can generate uh, it in JavaScript. I think there should not be a problem. Uh, we, we, we generated both server and client for Go, I believe, uh, as a test. And we actually use the client in Go IPFS. So uh, generation works pretty well with OpenAPI. Yeah. So and uh, and oh. if we have uh, that lighter version, then because for the context right now we got this Ruby uh, uh, app uh, created by Andrew uh, Nesbit, uh, but that's like Postgres, Redis, uh, Ruby on Rails. Uh, it's not something you want to run on the CI. Uh, instead, we if we have this lighter uh, Echo for uh, Echo like ser service, we could even switch Go IPFS to that, and that would solve a bunch of problems we got there as well. Yeah, although no, it's probably not that big a deal, but note that one of the things that we are testing by using like sort of the, the full thing is that uh, it's also testing that it triggers the data transfer and all of that, like the, but, but all those transitions are mockable. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but the data transfer, we wouldn't auto-generate from the spec, right? Because it's a little bit big. Yeah, so I'm saying you wouldn't be able to auto generate that, but also maybe it doesn't really matter, at least for the HTTP client, for like the JS HTTP client, it probably doesn't matter. It would be more when you did the JS IPFS implementation that it would matter. Yeah. Right. So like yeah. Go IPFS might still be stuck with the other one because it wants to check the, J the data transfer also. And JS IPFS might also want that, but for the client, for the HTTP clients, like you can just mock it, right? Because it's not their job. Yep. To do the P2P things. Yeah, and even in JS IPFS, we have other ways to, to test it. Like we have control of all the nodes and we can just see if stuff is everywhere. Um, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so do we need another session or do we need to figure, can we figure out how are we gonna ship all these pieces maybe, together? Maybe it's just uh, we have a, a, a call between us two and figure it out. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll organize a call then. And uh, yeah, maybe you can put your name under the parking lot item so I know who to invite to. Yep, yep. Why is it always jumping? <laughs> yeah, if you don't put um, your cursor where you want to be, it will jump on you. OK, cool. Thanks. <laughs> cool. I think, that, I think that might be it. Is there any, any other business? Anything else anyone wants to talk about? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, great. Thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, this has been the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday, the 16th of November. Please remember to fill in your async updates. People do read them, and it's very exciting to know what's happening and what everyone's working on. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye.